It's being called the future of MMA, the very first MMA draft combine. Participants from all across the world have come here today to prove their MMA skills. Sitting down here at the MMA draft combine, your eye favor, Phil Davis. Great to have both of you guys together, the founders of MMA Draft, and a lot of excitement in this room behind us, but let's start at the beginning. How did this concept come together for you guys? It's actually funny, it's the first time that Phil actually and I met. We, we, actually, we, we met one time before to shook hands, and the second time we actually sat down and talked, and just started talking about the future of the sport, and he was saying how he liked how I was thinking outside the box, and about halfway through our conversation, we kind of came up with this idea. Well, really, it's um, if you're involved in anything that has to do with MMA, whether it's jiu-jitsu, wrestling, amateur MMA, amateur kickboxing, anything that is a combat sport that leads into MMA, you are involved in, in the grand umbrella of MMA. And you also have a, a, a legitimate claim at you know, being a part of MMA draft. So um, if you would like to come and test your skills against the other people of your age group and your size uh, to see how athletic and... Uh, and how you would you fare against them and all the other agilities and skill tests. That's what it's all about. This is the place to be. So there's two parts to this. This is the combine. There's the MMADraft.com website. That's for anyone. We, we're starting to follow kids from five, six years old that can start you know, having their parents update their, their participation in, in amateur sports from jiu-jitsu and wrestling and kickboxing, boxing, pancreation. And then there's the actual combine. And we want this to be the last stop for the amateurs before they make that jump into the pro. And this is all modeled after uh, the, the combines for other sports. You know, I think as we see the sport grow, people are gonna have to be extremely athletic to compete at the highest level. And that's what happens in all of the sports and it's starting to happen now. All of it's super important. Here's Will Farah, who is the other founder of MMA Draft. Really a dream come true today to see this combine realize. What's your take on just seeing it finally all come together? It's pretty cool to see all our hard work come to fruition, to really see how much passion there is in this sport. It's awesome. I think we lose a lot of athletes to other sports or other avenues because there, there is no, nobody's showing them what is the next step? How do, I, how do I go from A to B? And that's what we've really been able to do is take your eye and Phil's experience, uh, put it on paper and provide these guys with a roadmap to success. Okay, just sitting here with Adam Nijum from? The Pit Elevated, baby. <laughs> so you just ran a 4-3, right? Yeah, that's true. I've never done it before. I didn't really know what a good time was, but I've been told it's kind of kind of good. So I'm happy about that. So you're top, though. You ran the fastest through the whole day. So far, yeah, you know. But there's a lot of good athletes here. So, you know, hopefully, you know, there's some good competition. But I'd like to hold on to that, you know, the lead, so. Okay, I'm Angelo Trevino uh, from Sacramento, California. MMA draft is the future of MMA. You know, starting from amateurs, they need MMA draft. So uh, wrestlers too. I, I'm, I'm a JC wrestler, so I always tell my friends to uh, you know get a profile on MMA draft so people could check them out and everything. So this is a this is a good tool to use. Uh, my name is Gaze Dion, and I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, I've won two world championship kickboxing matches uh, titles for the IKF. Uh, I'm ranked second on the Naga website for Jiu Jitsu and uh, I was picked to win state for my high school uh, my senior year but I snapped my ankle two weeks before state and I had to beg my coach to actually let me wrestle and with my messed up ankle I still played six at state and broke the Louisiana state record for the quickest pin. I pinned a guy in 22 seconds. Dude, I've watched the NFL draft on TV for years and it's perversely entertaining. I don't know why we're watching people work out. and. It's entertaining, and this, I mean, I, I've never seen anything like this with MMA. We're watching guys run the 40 or the 20 meter, we're watching guys throw a really heavy ball, and there's some really great athletes out here. Yeah, I think it's great. It's awesome. It's good to see so many people are, are, are here and, you know, training, so, you know, it's good. My name is Shante Williams. I'm from Pensacola, Florida, and I trained at Pit Elevator in Utah, Orm, Utah. Awesome. So, uh, you pretty much are the biggest one here. How well have you done? Uh, I think I did pretty good. Um, I tried my best. See, I got the fastest time on a 20-yard dash, so I guess that's good for being a big guy. And that's really good. Yeah, I feel real good. It's a great event. All right, Uriah just told me that he was bringing over one of like the best prospects that, I guess, had the best record. This is 
Uh, Brandon, he just set the record for endurance. As you can see, he's a well-conditioned athlete and says he trains with Dominic Cruz, and I, he probably beats Dominic up. So <laughs> let's hear about that. Good job, my man. Hey, Congratulations. Man. Thank you. So tell me your full name. Uh, Brandon Frunk. Uh, Alliance MMA down in San Diego, California. I'm with Phil Davis. Phil Davis, Dominic Cruz, Jeremy Stevens, all those guys. Making history, maybe. First combine ever. Uh, this is so cool. In addition to, to gathering their skill set in MMA and assessing that, uh, we also want to find good athletes. We want to, because, I mean, granted, these are still amateur athletes right now. And we want to make sure we're, we're, we're locating the solid athletes, uh, as well as guys who are technically sound as well. As we close out the event today here at the MMA Draft Combine, we're joined by the COO, Tommy Shurkamp. You've been the guy with the clipboard all day. You look very diligent, walking around, making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to. But every review that I've heard from everyone is that it's been an amazing event. But from your perspective, what would you say? Um, I, it's a lot of work that went into this, so I'm glad it finally got to come to fruition. Um, I'm glad everyone had a good time. The, the end goal here was to make sure everyone was to get noticed, get exposure, look at their results, and, and, and have these kids truly know where they are in the, in the whole scheme of things. I could be from Nebraska, and I think I'm the coolest kid ever until I come here and realize I got a lot of work to do. So if, at, at the end of the day, if that's what they accomplish, then that's what we want.